Welcome to aminacademy.com. In analytical solid geometry, let us discuss about angle between two lines in space. Look at this figure. Here, this is line yx, this is oy, this oz. Two lines are drawn like OP1 and OP2. Suppose OP1 having the coordinates x1, y1, z1 and OP2 having the coordinates x2, y2 and z2. Here OP1 have the length R1 and OP2 have length R2. Now let P1, P2 have the distance D. Now the angle between the two lines is theta. Let L, M, N, L1, M1, N1 and L2, M2, N2 or DCs or direction cosines of two given lines. And on the coordinate on the points and coordinates are P1 is x1, y1, z1 and P2 have x2, y2 and z2. Also OP1 equal R1 and OP2 equal R2. Now the angle between two lines that is P1, O, P2 that will be theta degrees. We know the cosine formula by cosine formula we can write the d square equal r1 square plus r2 square minus 2 r1 r2 cos theta. So let it be equation 1 and and we know the distance formula that is square of the distance d square equal distance between the points p1 and p2 we can write as x2 minus x1 all square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 of a square. Now we can see t square. Now let's say d square equal after expanding and collecting we can see this manner like uh, x1 square plus x2 square x1 square plus y1 square plus z1 square this one set plus x2 square plus y2 square plus z2 square and minus 2 times x1 x2 plus y1 y2 plus z1 z2 which means if we expand x2 minus x1 whole square y plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square expanding and collecting this manner therefore further here d square equal x1 square plus x y1 square plus z1 square 
we can write this as r1 square and x2 square plus y2 square plus z2 square you can write as r2 square minus 2 into same x1 x2 plus y1 y2 plus z1 z2 that it be equation 2 now comparing comparing the equation 1 and equation 2 we can get it comparing 1 and 2 we'll get r1 r2 cos theta means here r1 r2 cos theta is here that is compared is this x1 x2 plus y1 y2 plus z1 z2 which gives cos theta equal x1 into x2 by r1 r2 plus y1 y2 over r1 r2 plus z1 z2 over r1 r2 we know that we know that the relation x1 we can write as l1 r1 and x2 we can write as l2 r2 and x3 we can write as x1 x2 and we can write as y1 is m1 r1 and y2 equal m2 r2 like that z1 equal m1 uh, n m1 r1 l m n n1 r1 and z2 equal n2 r2 we have the relation like now now substitute uh, here therefore you can see cos theta here x1 x2 x1 is l1 r1 x2 is l2 r2 so we can write as here by substituting these values of x1 x2 y1 y2 z1 z2 in uh, cos theta we will get uh, the relation l1 into l2 plus m1 into m2 plus n1 into n2 where l1 m1 and n1 and l2 m2 n2 are actual dc's direction cosines of a given line direction cosines of of a given line now look at these conditions now here if a1 a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 are direction ratios of the given lines then we can see condition for perpendicularity condition for 
perpendicularity we can say condition for perpendicularity like a1 into a2 plus b1 into b2 plus c1 into c2 equal 0 now condition for parallelism parallelism means the two lines are to be parallel well, the condition is a1 by a2 equal b1 by b2 or c1 by c2 we have done please subscribe our youtube channel